Premiere just released a beta version, which gives you the option to actually edit your dialogue footage using text. This can potentially save you hours. So we're gonna check out how to do it in just a sec. And if you're new here, Will and I release weekly videos all about video editing, videography, as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to our channel. And now let's take a look at text-based editing in Premiere. So in case you want to follow along, you can go to your Creative Cloud account, beta apps, and install Premiere Pro beta. Once it's installed, click open, and that will bring you into the project window. You can name your project and choose where you'd like to save it. Select the footage and any assets you'd like to import into your project, and over on the right here, go ahead and turn on automatic transcription. You can change the language, you can choose to have different speakers separated, and you can decide whether or not you'd like to transcribe all imported media or just clips in a sequence and choose create. Okay, so now we can go up and click on the workspaces icon, select text-based editing, which brings up your text panel. And check this out. All of the dialogue from my clip has been auto-generated with time code. Click at any point in your transcript. And when you do, your playhead will automatically go to that moment and place in your video where that word is said. And if you play your video, the text from that point will be highlighted and will follow along with your talking head. Let's highlight an entire paragraph, which creates an in and an out on your timeline for that part. And let's say you want to remove that part. You can go to the top here and select lift, which cuts and removes that part of the video from your timeline while leaving a space in its place. Or I'll just undo that or you can choose to extract, which removes that part of your footage and then snaps the next part of the clip right to the previous part. This is really cool too. So if you wanna search for a specific word, so I can see here that my name spelled wrong, I'll search for it and you can click on the circle arrow icon, which gives you the option to replace. So I'll type A-L-L-I, which is how you actually spell my name in case you're wondering and maybe you wanna send me a letter or something. And choose replace all. And now my name is spelled the correct way in the transcript. The slider down here lets you increase or decrease the size of your transcript. Another awesome feature is, let's say we wanna move this chunk, this paragraph of the dialogue somewhere else in our edit. Well, what we can do is select it, press Command or Control X to cut it. I wanna move it to the very end of my clip, so we'll scroll down to the bottom of the text. Press Command V and check that out. Now that part of the talking head has been cut and pasted to the end of the clip. And I wanna show you one other cool thing. Now for me, this is super handy because I transcribe all of my YouTube videos so that I can also create a blog post on our website. And this feature is gonna save me a lot of time. Let's go up to the three dots here, choose export, and you can export your transcript. You can export it to a text file or a CSV file. I'm gonna choose text file, decide where I wanna save it, and there's my text file. Just in case you're wondering how this works if you decide to import like a screen cap that has dialogue recorded with it, well, let's drag the screen cap here onto our timeline. It's gonna take a second, and there you go. Check out how easy that was. That's a look at how to use text-based editing in Premiere. Is this a feature you see yourself using a lot? Are you not sure yet? And if you need to spice up your videos with some light leaks or LUTs or Mogurts, check out the link below. We have them all for sale now. Thanks for checking this video out. We have something like over 200 other video editing tutorials. Subscribe to stay in the loop and we'll see you in another video.